What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Back at the store with Abby. Hi. And Cooper is sick today. And <clears throat> told you guys a few days ago that Abby and I both kind of had sore throats. Is yours gone now? Um, a little bit. My throat's not sore. It's just like it still doesn't sound right. Well, the sore throat that I had was was minor, and I was hoping that it was just gonna go away, but. I, just, I must have caught something from somebody at PRGE because this morning I woke up and I'm very congested and I uh, have a headache and everything. Still minor symptoms compared to what you can have with a cold or flu or whatever, but I don't think I'm getting any better quickly, so it's going to suck. But let's get today started. So we have one trade in here to show you guys. Um, got a black Wii, which probably wouldn't have taken normally, but... It was from one of our regulars, and so I, you know, tried to help him out a little bit. We also have Super High Impact for Super Nintendo. No manual, but it does have a poster, so I actually might need that for my copy. And this box is pretty rough. And then the two best games out of the lot, we have Project Mirai DX for 3DS. It's got the cards that are still sealed and, and everything. And then the other one is Pokemon Moon. This was cartridge only, but we had a case to complete it. And then, one manual, which I actually need this for my collection. I, I already have the cartridge and box, so that's pretty cool. That completes our copy. And then we have ATV Off-Road Fury for PSP, Lumens Puzzle Fusion, Secret Agent Clank, Ridge Racer, and Jackass Volume 1. And then Just Cause 2, and a kind of sealed copy of Rocksmith 2014. It's all ripped up. I wish it was actually sealed, because that wouldn't be, wouldn't be a cheap one. Then we have Fallout New Vegas, Driver San Francisco, Fable 2, Simpsons Road Rage, and then empty cases for Mario Party 8 and 9. No discs in those. And then finally, we have The Conduit, Fairy Tale Fights, Special Forces Nemesis Strike. Just never seen that one before. IndyCar Series, Halo 2, Halo 1, Sega GT 2002, and Jet Set Radio Future. Worms, a Space Oddity, and Decca Sports 3 for the Wii. So we have one package here to open up from Isaac. Um, the mailman actually gave me two packages, but I had to chase him out because one of them was not, not for us, so I had to give it back to him. So we have just one, but... Was it for Ty Terrace? No, it was for someone that didn't even live anywhere close to here. It was had an apartment number and like, I don't know. But we do have more packages at home that came yesterday that were in the mailbox. Never checked. So, this is what you thought it was. Okay. So, let's see if I can. I'm gonna have to cut them open here. We skipped ahead to open everything because everything is bubble wrapped. So, we have. Duck Dodgers for N64, but all the side flaps on the box are cut off. Um, so these are rental boxes, pretty much. So yeah, it's it's unfortunate, but oh, there's a Blockbuster sticker on the back cartridge. of that box. Yeah, the cartridge doesn't have the Blockbuster sticker, but no manuals with these, and then obviously the sides are cut off. So um, these are going to be barely priced up above a cartridge if if priced up at all. And then, same situation, we have Majora's Mask. Once again, no sides and no manual, but there's a cartridge on that one. And then, we have two cartridge-only games, which these are super, super cool. So, we have Earthbound, Ooh. which I wish we had gotten these before the expo, because these would have sold. And then the other one is Evo. Ooh. So two really really good super nintendo games and this is one package of two we're expecting more yeah so i would say earthbound's the highlight of it but yeah earthbound and evo are definitely not common games those are nice cool to get those for christmas though yeah so i'm so, not too bugged about them coming in after prg so thank you to isaac for these and we'll open up the second box whenever it gets here i think they weren't shipped together no but they're shipped within a day of each other okay so the next one should be here on monday and then we'll, or we'll tomorrow. open it then. Today's only Friday. Isn't today Saturday? No, today's Friday. What day is it? 
Pretty sure it's Saturday. Oh, it's Saturday. <laughs> Dang. So Monday we'll open up the other one. Thank you, Isaac. So we have probably the last trade-in of the day to show you guys. We got a Hey You Pikachu with the VRU adapter, but no microphone. Not a big deal, the mics. There's someone who has them listed on eBay for like eight bucks shipped. They have like hundreds of them. So we'll just order one of those. Then we have some DS games, Chicken Shoot, Brain Age 2, Ivy the Kiwi, and a PSP memory card. Did you know and then, that Kiwis, the like animals, they are not tiny. They're like this big. Did you know that? Says who? Like that's that's how they that's how big they are. I always thought they're like little birds. They're mm. gigantic. So these ones here were also cartridge only, but Abby pulled cases to complete them. So we have Namco Museum DS, 50 Classic Games, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, and Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2 March of the Minis. So not too many trade-ins today. What time is it? Uh 7:30. 7:30. So, I mean, we could get another trade, but, you Cooper's know. He's probably not going to come into work tomorrow because it sounds like he's getting worse. I didn't say I was going to stay home or anything, but Fabby, wa should. Fabby wants me to. I'm really, really tired. <clears throat> but Abby got all this stuff entered, and it's all priced, and now she just has to go through and put in our buy cost. So hopefully that stuff will all be done tomorrow. I showed you guys this bundle earlier. Ryan already tested the Wii. At least I asked him to. <laughs> I don't know if he yeah, did it. He did. Okay. And then... Oh, we also got an NES trailer and I haven't shown you guys. So we got the system. Firebuzz.com came with with the power cable, one controller, and a zapper gun. Um, it looks decent from the front, but it's pretty yellowed on the back. So, it doesn't really want to show up on camera, but it's really yellowed on the back compared to the top. Not a huge deal, though. Um, I didn't really want to take it, but... Same with that black Wii, but... Holidays are coming up, so I'm trying to take in a few more systems because I know that they're going to sell. But uh, I need to get back to going to Goodwills and stuff because when I go to the outlet, I always find Wii's. And Wii's are definitely a popular item for the holidays, but I just can't really bring myself to pay for them from customers because I don't want to rip anyone off. But I can get them at the outlet for a dollar fifty a piece because it's $0.69 cents a pound, you know what I mean? So maybe like 2 to 3 bucks for a Wii system. And I find them all the time, so I just need to get back to doing that. Once I'm not feeling so sick anymore, I'll, you know, hopefully start doing that again. We've been going to some regular Goodwills, but I've also been getting that stuff taken care of and put out, so I don't know. There's still a lot to do. Figure it out, though. So we just laid out all these N64 games here that Abby got price tags on. We took one out because we accidentally put the wrong price, so it's Pokemon Stadium, but... Uh, this is all the stuff that we've gotten in just over the past couple days. So much good stuff. And uh, now it's time it to go just home. N64 stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's still all of this here. But really good N64 stuff. Very happy. Some of these games we don't ever get, like Space Station Silicon Valley, Vigilante 8 Second Offense, Mega Man 64. Those types of games just don't really come in. Everything else here does, but not those ones.